Talk about a bizarre attempted theft. It has one family so spooked they're warning other dog owners to be on the lookout for a possible dog napper on the loose. News 13's Chris McKee is in the newsplex tonight with the details. Crystal, this attempted dog napping happened in broad daylight. The victims believe they were randomly targeted. If they're willing to come to our yard out there in the middle of nowhere, I'm sure they'll find somebody in a housing development somewhere. Lee and Katie Bisbee are warning their neighbors after almost losing their dog, Gracie Rose, in a way they never expected. Say hi, baby. <laughs> Monday afternoon at their home in Tijeras, Lee was inside when his five dogs picked up on something nearby. I kept hearing them going on and on and on. Outside, Lee found his gate open and saw something very suspicious. There was a blue car sitting here, a little blue four-door Corolla. Someone calling for his dog. He was coaxing somebody, trying to say, come on, come on, come on with me, come with me. Lee says the man was trying to grab Gracie Rose, his eight-month-old pit bull mix, the smallest dog on the lot. He sees me, he jumps back in the car, and they beeline up the road. The car took off, and Lee hasn't seen it since. While someone broke into their home about three years ago, Lee and Katie say they've never seen anything like this. And be bold to open the gate even when my husband's home. That's yeah, just, the car was in the driveway, the crazy. back door is wide open. It's crazy. The two are now getting others involved. Everybody needs to be on the lookout. Posting warnings at the nearby Ten Points General Store with hopes of catching the attempted dog nap. Just to let everybody else know that there is the the opportunity that somebody may take an animal and we never know whether it could be ours or it be somebody's pride and joy somebody that just loves their animals lee and katie say a white man and woman were driving the car that stopped at their house the car is described as a small blue four-door toyota corolla back to you crystal all right thanks chris now we tried calling the bernalillo county sheriff's office for more information on this case but we haven't heard back yet